Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You are welcome to chemistry class. This is Abdullah Bawalala, as you already know. Today, as I have told you earlier, we are starting our lesson on trioxosulfate 4 acids and its salts. You will recall that before we vacated, we had looked at sulfur oxide and its properties. We ended by explaining that when sulfur oxide dissolves in water, it forms a weak acid known as trioxosulfate 4 acid, H2SO3. H2SO3. How is the acid prepared? It is very easy, just like you have uh, just mentioned now. When sulfur oxide dissolves in water, the acid is prepared. Therefore, triosulfate 4 acid is prepared in the laboratory by dissolving sulfur oxide in water. Now, what are the properties of the acid? Number one, the physical properties of the acid. Try also with four acid is a colorless liquid at room temperature. That is one. It is colorless. Number two, it smells strongly of sulfur four oxide. Since it's a mixture of sulfur oxide and water. So it smells strongly of sulfur oxide. You will recollect that the smell of sulfur oxide is that of a burning match. Then, number three is that it has all the physical properties of uh, acid. Having sour taste, tony, blue, litmus paper, red. It's also uh, a property of the acid, just like any other acid. So all the physical properties identified with acid is uh, true of uh, Try also sulfate for acid. Now see how it turns a blue little paper red. That shows that it has all the physical features of a uh, acid. Now coming to the chemical properties. Apart from the fact that it has all the chemical properties of acids, as you have known, like uh, liberating Trials of carbonate 4 from liberating carbon four oxide from trials of carbonate 4 compounds. Two, when it reacts with metals, active metals, it liberates hydrogen gas. And three, it neutralizes bases to form salt and water only. So these are the common chemical properties of all acids. It's also exhibited by trials of it for acid. Apart from that, it's also a bleaching agent. It bleaches. It, 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 it bleaches. If you have a, a flower, a colored, if the flower comes in contact with a trace of it for acid, the color becomes filled. So it is used as a mild bleaching agent. You know, one of the activities, or one of the properties of uh, sulfur oxide is also that it's also a bleaching agent. So it, it, it bleaches. Now, and what is the reaction, or what is the chemical chemistry of bleaching action of trials of it for acid? It bleaches by reduction, just like sulfur oxide. When Transosulfate of it for acid comes in contact with dye, which contains atomic oxygen. It will lose the atomic oxygen and it will take off the atomic oxygen from dye and become tetra oxalate cis acid. And the dye will be with the dependent of one oxygen atom. So this is colored and this is colorless. So as a result of a uh, 
the addition the reaction with a uh, tri oxalate four acid. So it's it bleaches by reduction. And that is why it's bleaching action does not last. Just like that of uh, sulfur oxide. So when this when the bleached material comes in contact with here, it regains the oxygen from the atmosphere and goes back to its uh, normal color. What are the uses of tri oxalate four acid? It is used as a bleaching agent. It is used as a germicide. Germicide. When you say germicide, it means it can be used to kill uh, germs. So you have to take note of uh, those uses. Now, as you can see on the on the board, apart from looking at the acid itself, we still need to talk about it uh, salts. Salt of trousers of it for acid. Salt of trousers of it for acid can be classified into two. Before we go there, you should remember that salts are formed when an acid is partially or completely neutralized. So when hydrogen, the hydrogen atom in terms of it for acid is fully replaced by, by a, a basic radical or partially replaced by a basic radical. A salt is formed. Like you can have, instead of having hydrogen, you can have Na2SO3. So this is salt from the acid. Or if you have, instead of removing all the hydrogen, you can have NaHSO3. This is also a salt. But this one we call an acid salt, right? This one we call a normal salt. Therefore, this will be an opportunity to remind us that since Try oxosulfate four acid is a diabasic acid. It forms two types of uh, salts: acid salt and uh, normal salt. Acid salt, when all the hydrogen atoms are not fully replaced, this is an example. Normal salt, when the hydrogen, hydrogen atoms are re fully replaced, this is an example. I hope that is taken. Now, we can. We, we also need to. Tell ourselves as well that the salts that are formed by tri oxosulfate four acid can either be soluble or insoluble. Soluble salts of tri oxosulfate four acids are sodium tri oxosulfate four, potassium tri oxosulfate four, ammonium tri oxosulfate four, and calcium tri oxosulfate four. Like you ought to have known that all sodium salts are soluble in water, all potassium salts are soluble in water, all ammonium salts are, sol are soluble in water. The only addition there is calcium trisulfate 4 because we have some calcium salts that are not soluble. But calcium trisulfate 4 is a soluble salt. All other trisulfate 4 compounds, apart from those four, are insoluble in water. All other types of are insoluble in water. Now, how do we prepare the salts? Preparation of uh, tri oxo sulfate for salts. Now, in the case of the soluble ones, the soluble salts of tri oxo for salts. A trials of a four acid. The soluble trials of its four. You ought to remember that soluble salts are prepared by neutralization. And in this case, neutralization between sulfur oxide and the corresponding alkali. For example, I want to prepare sodium trioxosulfate four. I need sulfur oxide and sodium hydroxide. So sulfur oxide is passed into sodium hydroxide solution. And that will give us sodium hydroxide. This is an example. It will give us sodium trisulfate uh, 4 and water. In this equation, 
So of oxide is acting as an acid. So the sodium so is acting as a base. This is salt. This is water. So it fits perfectly into the definition of uh, neutralization. The reaction between an acid and a base to form salt and water only. And then between an acid and base to form salt and water only. So that is how to prepare soluble salts of transit for. But for the insoluble salts, we all know that insoluble salts are prepared by double decomposition or precipitation, as the case may be. So, for example, if you want to prepare calcium trisulfate 4, okay, that one is soluble. If you want to prepare lead trisulfate 4, lead trisulfate 4, what we need is lead trisulfate 3 or any other soluble sort of lead. Plus soluble trisulfate four compound or sulfur oxide. Let me see here something. A plus. So it will give us calcium trisulfate five and. Uh, Lead transit form. So this is soluble, this is insoluble. So this type of reaction is called double decomposition and it is used to prepare all insoluble salts. So that is not a problem. So the next thing that we need to look at is properties of Trials of it four sorts. Properties of trials of it four sorts. First of all, the physical properties, which we have mentioned about their solubility, those that are soluble and those that are not soluble. Now, their chemical properties. Chemical property one is that all trials of it four sorts. React with acid to liberate sulfur oxide. So when they react with acid, sulfur oxide is uh, liberated, like CSO3 in the presence of uh, a mineral acid, will form CaCl2 plus H2O plus SO2 gas. This one may be a cross, may be solid. So this is this is how trials of it four compounds react. Number two, another property of gas is that. Another chemical properties of gas is that they are all reducing agents. They are all reducing agents. Their reduction action can be demonstrated by the reaction with acidified potassium tetraoxomanganate 7 KNNO4. Their solution decolorize as well KMNO4. You can see as well KMNO4, purple in color. When it comes contact with a charge of its four sorts, it's, the color disappears. You can see. You can see the color disappearing. So it decolorizes acidified potassium tetraoxomanganate 7, showing that 
it is uh, reducing agents. One other chemical property of theirs is that when they're exposed to the atmosphere, they become oxidized. They are easily oxidized, and this is also a reduction property. So when they react with uh, oxygen from the atmosphere to form tetra oxo sulfate six salts. This is another chemical property of theirs. Now uses. What are they? What are they used for? One, trials of its four sorts are used in the laboratory for the preparation of sulfur four oxide. I hope you are taking that. They are used in the, in the laboratory for the preparation of sulfur oxide. We all want to recollect that when trials of its four sorts react with an acid, any acid for that matter, sulfur oxide is liberated. So they are used to in the preparation of sulfur four oxide, and you all know the use of so, all the uses of sulfur four oxide. Another use of this is that, especially calcium hydrogen trioxide four salt, which is an acid salt of trioxide four. Calcium hydrogen trioxide four, CaH SO three. Is used as a bleaching agent for wool pops, which are used in preparation of newsprints. You know those newspapers that are used, those papers that are used in, in, in making newspapers. So they are bleached with calcium hydrogen of its form. And that bleaching does not, is not permanent. I have told you, bleaching action of any sulfur oxide based compound is not permanent. And that is why if you keep newspapers at home for long, by the time you bring them out, the color would have become would have become yellowish or brownish. It is because it was bleached by sulfur oxide-based bleaching agent. With, and the bleaching action is not it does not last. Because as soon as the bleached particle gains oxygen from the atmosphere, it gains its uh, color. So that these are the uses of uh, Trials of it for salts. The next thing to look at uh, is, is a sulfur six oxide. Sulfur six oxide, which is uh, the next lesson. Which is the next compound of a uh, 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 sulfur that we need to study. Sulfur six oxide. That's what thing. Sulfur six oxide is usually prepared as a liquid in the laboratory. It is prepared by, pass, by passing a mixture of oxygen and sulfur oxide over heated vanadium-5 oxide. Or by passing a, this mixture over heated platinum. Platinum is not usually used because it is more expensive. Vanadium six oxide is more readily available and it is not as expensive as platinum. That's why vanadium five oxide is more. When a mixture of sulfur oxide as oxygen are passed over concentrated nitrosulfuric acid. which serves as a drying agent. The mixture is then passed over heated vanadium trioxide or platinum. I told you platinum is more expensive, so vanadium trioxide is more preferable. It's preferable. The, the, the film, films of soft for what cis oxide is formed, but it is preferred, preferably stored in liquid form. So it is passed into a freezing mixture here. So it is preferably stored in liquid or solid form. So you have a sulfur six oxide produced here. 
So these are some of, some of, some of that is prepared, prepared in laboratory. Other methods by which it can be prepared include that it can be prepared by eating tetras of a tea acid with phosphorus 5 oxide. Phosphorus 5 oxide in that instance will serve as a dehydrating agent. So in that case, when A2SO4, A2SO4, is heated with phosphorus 5 oxide, Water is liberated. You have A two O plus S O A. So water is moved. So so our cis oxide is uh, produced. Also, when metallic terms of it cis are heated, so our cis oxide can also be produced. So our cis oxide can also be produced by that method. Now coming to industrial preparation. In the, in the industry, it is prepared by passing a mixture of sulfur oxide and oxygen over heated vanadium 5 oxide, so as we have uh, described before. That is the industrial method. And if you look at the reaction, sulfur 4 oxide plus oxygen, the reaction is reversible. It will form sulfur 6 oxide. Bring it to bear our knowledge of a uh, chemical equilibrium. We discover that, and this area is highly exothermic. We will remember that this reaction will reach equilibrium if it is left like that. And if it reaches equilibrium, what happens? We have to find a way of ensuring that we get high yield of sulfur C oxide. So what are the factors, or what are those things that a good industrialist will put into place to ensure that he gets high yield of sulfur oxide? One of them, since the power process is exothermic, one of them is to have a low temperature. If you look at the number of moles here, total number of moles here is three. This is two, this one. Total number of moles here is two. So it means the number of moles on both sides are not equal. The reactants and the products are all gases. Therefore, prayer will also have effect. And prayer has increased the prayer for the that has lower number of moles. So it means increasing the prayer will also favor the yield of a, so yield of a sulfur oxide. So you, by reducing temperature, increasing prayer. That is number two. The number three is that the removal of sulfur oxide as it is formed. So that when you remove it, more will be formed. When you remove it, more will be formed. When you remove it, more will be formed. This is a life principle. If you have money, you spend it, and I will give you another one. If you have money, you spend it, and I will. So that's the principle. So if you remove so this, this one will have to form this. So these are the very things that they are put into consideration in the industry. And this process is also used in contact process. In fact, which will be among the next lesson that we are going to take. But let's stop here today because of our time. We are going to continue from here next class. But you should know that we have not ended our lesson on sulfur 6 oxide. We still have to look at its properties and uses before we now take it to the contact process where it is used in the preparation of sulfur 4, I mean, tetrasulfur 6 acid. I pray Allah grant us, all of us, beneficial knowledge. And I want to believe that you have mastered the lesson that you have taken today. You have, you have to contact your porter to see the notes. All these notes are there, except this diagram. You cannot find this diagram there. Then look also at your portal to see the assignment. Look at the assignment column in your assignment section in your portal. Do the assignment and submit immediately. I would like to meet you next class. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.